Let us quickly review some of the concepts that we've discussed in this event capture demonstration. We can access the event capture app by going to apps and selecting event capture. In order to enter data, we then find an organization unit and make sure it is selected. The next step is to select the program we want to enter data into. When we click on register event, we will select the report date. This is different than numeric data entry, where we are entering data based on a specified period. Within the event capture application, we can specify different rules, warnings, and indicators that allow us to hide and show various elements of our form, calculate various indicators according to the data that we've entered, and give us warnings when we enter data incorrectly. We can also enter data offline. When we lose our internet connection, it will give us a prompt indicating that we are offline and data will be stored locally. We can go ahead and continue to enter our data. We can save these events. We can even select different organization units and register new events in those organization units. When our internet connection is restored, it will give us a prompt that there is data stored locally, and we can upload this to the server. This allows us to upload the data we've entered offline. This ends this session on event capture. Let us know if you have any questions about anything we've demonstrated in this particular session. We will now move on to introducing tracker programs in the next session.